Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of FF3 100% Water So I'm gonna open up the map, remember we're gonna be heading to Geisel now And also remember that this is the outer sea now Remember we had missable enemies in the inner sea? Last episode I actually got the missable enemies in the outer sea as well And we also got that rare monster in here, the serpent So make sure that if you're missing the enemies in this outer sea here that you check out my last episode to make sure that you got them all. Alright, so I'm just gonna automatic all these. I think they're all set up already. For it? No, they're not. Shit. I gotta redo it. Okay. So advance, fire staff, face staff, and we'll go for steel. And then we'll auto for faster speed. There we go. Now we're good. Now. So hopefully, it should be all set up now. Alright, so I have to head south now. Make sure you go east, south, and then come along the east line here. And keep following it down. All the way down until we get close enough that we see a new town. I'm gonna kill these guys with auto battle. Oh, they got a back attack on us, so they're doing more damage. Well, on Ark anyway. Okay, now we're in the inner sea now, so we're getting the old miserable monsters okay I gotta see what I have equipped okay I'm good for now okay so I think I'm close to it now I think this should be it right here yeah this is it see this small little island here we can only get here by ship right now. And there's new enemies here, so you know what? Let's kill the enemies first for a beastery before we go inside the town. Because I want to show you guys all the enemies that you can encounter here to update your beastery. Alright, we got a preemptive attack. So we got a tarantula and a barrel mitts. And I'm going to auto battle it. So we're just missing two more enemies here. We stole a potion. Okay, that thing's weak to fire. That was 610 damage with a fire staff. 405 with advance, nice. I think I'm just gonna attack with the thief as well. Ingus. Okay, so two more enemies were missing, so let's see if we can get them. Okay, we got one of- wait, I think that's both of them actually. Let me see here, they got attacked for me first, of course. Oh man, Ark is getting wrecked. Cup Gel and Red Cap. These are the last two enemies here. So let's go ahead and auto battle this. Oh, he's on potion, I forgot I should do a normal attack. Or maybe not, because I can get the other guys to finish him off anyway. Eh, might be good to use him for stealing. Alright, I'm gonna save my game here, and I'm gonna go inside the new town here. This is Geisel. <laughs> you got a sheep. Oh, that's not her. I take care of the sheep here. No, don't go that way. Come on, come back here. Whoever said herding sheep was easy, they might as well be lemmings. Okay. Check out the magic shop. We got toad already, and don't need another one. Break! Inflict Petrification, Shade, Inflict Paralysis. And we got Libra, which we can now see weak points if we want that. Confuse and Silence. Oh, interesting spells. Alright, so we want to go this way, cross a bridge here. Let's talk to this guy. Actually, no. Should be able to find some items. Okay, let's cross this bridge here then. Okay, we got one. There's the magic key. Let me zoom in here. Yeah, there's the other two. Magic key again, and... Geisel greens. So, magic key opens locked doors, but since we already have a thief class to do that, we don't need the magic key. And the Geisel greens, it could be used to attract something. Okay, let's go north. Actually, no, we're going too far out. Hold on. 
Let's go back in here. I'm gonna go northwest. Inside. No, we're gonna skip the end for now. Let me see if there's a letter actually. Oh wow, we got new letters. Okay, so that's Yuto Papa, children of Yur. Recently, the children have started to play farther and farther away from Yur. While I praise their adventurous spirits, I worry that it will lead them to trouble. From to Papa. And we have one from Sit. Oh, we have another new one. Hold on. The children are in trouble. Grave news. The children have not come back from their recent exploration trip. We have searched as far from Yur as we dared, but we could not find them. Okay, Sid. How I met Mrs. Sid. The first time I met Mrs. Sid, she was a passenger in my airship. It was love at first sight. Get it? Alright, make sure you guys are viewing these letters. It's important. Okay, so India is just a revive. And there might be an item here. No. And I zoom in. Oh, we'll go to the right here. There might be something in here. Okay, so this guy sells magic keys to open locked doors. Alright, let's go down this bridge here. And we're gonna cross right into here. This is the Chocobo stable here. Talk to the old man. Chocobos of our Geisel Greens, I'll tell you a secret. There's a special Chocobo that lives in Chocobo Woods. Try putting a sprig of Geisel Greens by the tree in the middle of the woods. If you're lucky, you may get to meet the boss of the Chocobos. Fat Chocobo, maybe? Alright, so let's get more Geisel Greens. Could use more of these. So remember what this old man said, because we're gonna be putting that to use after. Okay, let's leave this area. And I think I'm gonna go to the inn next now. Oh yeah, right over here. Go through here. And the item shop here sells Geisel Green, so we can actually buy more of these. But we're gonna go back. Alright, when you come out of here, let's go over here. There's another secret passage. Leads us right here. You can view various records of your journey up to now. So here's where we get our bestery, guys. As you can see, we are pretty much... Oh, we're missing number 8. But we'll get that one after. Number 16. As long as we get all the missable ones, then we're good. Like all the other ones, we can always get after. Okay guys, once you view the best right there, we're gonna leave the end. And there's one more item that we have to get in here, and then we're done at this time. So from here, let's go down, across this bridge. This is where the chocobo stable is, but we're gonna go past it. Into the next house, over here. And across over here, go around, and there's a chest. This is a shuriken, and these sell for a lot of money, but don't sell it right now. This is actually one of the strongest items in the game. 32,750 gale, that's how much it sells for. So yeah, they're really, really powerful though. And yeah, let's uh, go back outside. And save our game. Okay, so as for Geisel Greens, we can only use these in the Chocobo Woods, so we'll be able to call Fat Chocobo with them. Alright guys, so now we're gonna go all the way north, and we're gonna get into lots of random encounters here until we get to our destination, unfortunately. It's just the nature of the game here. Because that's all we can do is get random encounters. So let's finish these guys off. Really quickly. Fire Staff. 309 damage, Ice Staff. 309 damage and I don't even die. Huh. I don't remember if Inga Sleep stole anything. I'm gonna attack with Inga, so I'm not even gonna bother stealing, I don't think. These guys have lots of HP now. I could use my up. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother with that. I'm just gonna keep using fire staff for now. A fire nice staff for now. Actually, I'm pretty sure these guys are weak to fire. See, I need to know what their weakness are, but I don't want to keep switching all the time. Dead. Okay, I gotta heal. They always pick an arc first for some reason. There we go. We took care of it. Let's do a cure spell and an all party members. There we go. Let me check the world map here for a sec. Yep, here I am. I'm still there. Okay, so we're gonna keep going west. Another random encounter. Oh, these guys again. They love attacking us. 45 damage and a 75. Actually, I'm gonna. With Arc, I am gonna attack. Not gonna steal.
How did I not kill it? What? I should kill it. Hmm. Arc is really strong. Oh, you know what? I can use Thunder Staff as well. I don't have that equipped. I forgot that I even had it. Okay, we're gonna have to go around this thing here. Alright, you see where my green boat is? I'm gonna keep going west from that, and we should be reaching it very soon. Okay, we got the easy enemies now at least. Hold on, let me use Advance, and with R. See, I should be using Light Step. I think these guys are weak to Thunder. You know what, let's just auto battle it. There we go. Yeah, they were definitely weak. We're almost there. No, we have to go down here, I think. Yeah, there's Decay right there. I'm gonna save my game right here. Let me see if this is the right one. Dwarven Hollows, okay. Before I go in here, I just want to see what's around. Right, let me see what's up here. Oh, there's another cave. And this is... Chocobo? So it smells like Chocobo, so... Press action on the tree. Select Geisel Green. And we should get Fat Chocobo, I think. There's Fat Chocobo. <laughs> he looks very strange in this game. That's his music. Okay, so you can store items in him. Well, I'm not gonna bother with that. Alright, so basically you use the Geisel Green, Fat Chocobo drums down, and you store items in him. And then you have to do it again if you want to retrieve them back. I'm not gonna bother with that right now. But I do want to see what's inside this cave. Is this just another- oh, that's Molten. Okay. I assume that we're gonna have to come back here after. So we're gonna go to Dwarven Hollows first. I also want to see what kind of enemies are there too. On the land part first. That ice staff isn't doing anything on these guys. However, it's soon we're going into that molten cave, so I assume lots of enemies are going to be weak to ice. That's something to take note of. Anyway, let me see what kind of encounters right here. Oh, these guys? Okay, well, I'll just kill them really quick and then we'll go right inside the hollows. Okay, let's go inside now. Alright guys, here we are, let's sit down. Oh, we can talk to these dwarves. I'm gonna head down to the next room though. We have a Moogle, we already updated everything. I don't think there's anything new now, no. Well, we already updated everything at the Moogle, so we don't have to do that. Um, let me check this one first. This is... Oh, armor shop. So we can buy ice armor too now. But ice shield protects against some status elements. Rafia and Ingus can both have ice armor. And ice helms. Oh, I definitely need helms, so let's go with three of these. I guess we'll go with two of these. Okay, that's enough. So let's go Ice Helm. Ice Helm. We'll go Flame Mail because we're going to be entering a fire cave soon. Ice Helm and Ice Armor. I have one more Ice Armor. I don't know if I should have bought me. Maybe I should have because I might need it anyway at some point. Okay, let's go back down. And instead of going that way, I'm going to go this way first. I want to talk to this guy. That rascal Gusko made off with the Horn of Ice. He made his gateway through the underground lake. We can't go after him because dwarves can't swim, but you're humans. Humans can swim. You must aid us with your amphibious abilities. Alright, sure. An invisible wall blocks your path. Okay, well, that's a shame. I guess we can oh, go in here now. Weapon shop. Oh, we have a new sword weapon. A diamond bell. Well, I don't have the drop class for this. Okay, well, I'm not gonna buy anything here. Let's check this one. Oh, I'll talk to this old man here. 
Let me give you a brief description of your jobs. Oh, I don't need this. And we got some items here that we should probably buy. Because the next enemies can petrify you. So we have 12 gold needles, which I think I'm good. I don't think I'm going to need more than 12. Is this guy the same thing? No, this guy is an inn where you can rest. Alright, let's head down. And actually, I'm going to buy one weapon. So this is the only place that you can buy this weapon. Can't buy it anywhere else, so we might as well just buy one of them at least. Just in case. And okay, I think I'm ready now. Yeah, let's head down. And around. Alright, so the party here is saying that we need to turn back into Tobes again. And Rafiel's not too happy about that because she doesn't like being a Toad. And the funny thing is, I gave the Toad spell to Rafia too, and she's the one that has to cast it. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Okay, let's get in there. <laughs> 